Hey everyone, I'm Josh. Today we are praying for our Sheffield campus. So sending loads of love from me, Carly, and the Audacious family here in South Yorkshire. And uh, one verse for us to focus our prayers today is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. It says this, for we live by faith and not by sight. We live by faith and not by sight. And just a few weeks ago, last month, we were able to celebrate one year of uh, Sunday services, one year, 12 months of being able to come and gather and do live church services, do church together. And um, what a great moment to uh, just look back on, thank God, praise God for his faithfulness, his guidance, his grace, his wisdom, and just for every person that he's gathered to establish the community here. And just reflecting on it, I really felt challenged that it's taken a whole stretch, a whole leap of faith to, to start, but now is not the time to settle. We started with faith and I really felt God challenge me and for us here to continue in faith. Because it can be really easy to get comfortable in what we know, but we don't want to um, expect based on experience or merely live by what we see in the natural. Now we want to be led by the Holy Spirit. We want to live lives uh, led by the Holy Spirit, living by what he is saying. Because that's where the Bible um, says faith comes from. It says faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God, the rhema, the breath, the Holy Spirit uh, inspired uh, words spoken directly into your life uh, for for this time and this situation. And so when God is speaking to us, he doesn't just communicate, he creates. And so when he speaks his word, he creates faith in us. Uh, so we live um, by faith and not by sight. The Bible says it in Hebrews 11 that faith is the confidence of things hoped for. So our faith is, is confidence in God's ability, not our ability. And the Bible says that with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Nothing is impossible from God. So our confidence is in his ability, that nothing is impossible. And it, the Bible also says that, that faith in Hebrews 11 verse 1, that faith is also the, the um, conviction in things unseen. And so therefore, again, we want to live by what he said, not just by what we see. I'm not praying, believing, expecting based on experience, what we've seen up to now, but hear God afresh and therefore believe again in what he wants to do. And so our great prayer, our desire uh, in this time of prayer and fasting is that God would come and speak again, come and create faith in us again for all that he wants to do, but also how he wants to do it. So we want to have that same posture as Samuel does, where he just says, speak, Lord, I'm listening. And so would you stand and pray with us uh, over these um, four things today and even right now, just spend a little moment um, just interceding for our Sheffield campus uh, for, for firstly for, um, for encounter. We, we want to see a greater outpouring of his Holy Spirit. We want to see every single one of us have a fresh encounter, transformational moment um, in his presence that we would have a, a, an increased hunger and expectation for the things of the supernatural, the things of God in our everyday. So we're praying for encounter. Uh, we're praying for salvation. We're praying for an increase in first time um, radical salvations from Sunday to Saturday, that we would have the boldness and the courage to lead people to Jesus. We're praying for growth that God would add to our number. He would bring more young people and students and teenagers and families and all sorts of people into our community, that people would find home and grow in their, in their revelation of who he is, grow in relationships with one another and also grow in the sense of responsibility that this is my house. And fourthly, um, we're praying for home, that right now we are hiring um, hotels in the city centre. We're hiring uh, storage space that we're, we're in and out of every week, but we, we want to come to God and say, God, what's next? Um, over these next 8, 12, 18 months, two years, what's next for us? Where, where you want to establish your church again in, in this city? So we're praying for encounter, salvation, growth, and, uh, and, um, and home. So would you maybe even just take a moment right now, a minute or two, to just pray into one of those things. God would bless 
uh, our campus, our church right here in Audacious Church Sheffield. Thank you so much for your prayers. Keep going, keep believing. God is on the move and we're uh, really excited to be a part of this with every single one of you. Much love. Thanks.